Hello friends, uh, in this video tutorial I am going to discuss about the basic overview of the process uh, conjugation. Now conjugation is a type of process which is uh, very helpful uh, for carrying out uh, the exchange of DNA or genetic material between different uh, type of bacterial cell, uh, between the same species of bacteria or sometimes between uh, interspecies of bacteria. Okay, So uh, in conjugation system uh, we, what we can see is that two bacterial cell will come and uh, will be in direct contact with each other uh, to uh, before exchanging the DNA materials. Okay, so this is the only uh, way of DNA exchange uh, process where the two cells are in direct contact with each other, uh, unless uh, like uh, transformation and transduction, which is carried out by other uh, type of systems. Okay. Now, for this purpose, we must have a donor of uh, the genetic material, which is called the donor, and we uh, we need another one, uh, which is a recipient cell, which need to have that genetic material from the donor. So we have a donor cell or D cell here, and we have a recipient cell or R cell here. Now, for this purpose, the donor cell will provide uh, those genetic material to this recipient cell. For example, in this case, suppose recipient cell is not having a particular gene. Now it have to up it has to uptake that gene from the donor cell, which is actually having that gene. Okay, so that is the process of understanding between themselves. Now in this case. And this is an overview of uh, this conjugation process. I'm not talking about in details in this particular video. Uh, there are videos in my uh, website you can find where I have, I'll discuss this in uh, greater detail. Okay. Now in this case, these two bacterial cells will come closer and uh, they will interact with each other by by forming simple extension of cell. It is called the pili. Okay. Now this pili are of several types because these pili proteins are assembled uh, from inside the cell and it will make a uh, structure like like this tunnel. Now this tunnel will connect to bacterial cells. Suppose this is a bacterial cell, this is another. Now in between them is a tunnel and if this is the DNA material, this DNA material can easily pass us through from uh, one compartment, from, oh, that means from one bacterial cell into another bacterial cell through this tunnel. Now in this picture we can see actually this tunnel is mm, is built properly. Now in this tunnel there are several protein depositions uh, which is uh, an overall is called the MPF structure. Okay, and along with this MPF structure, we have proteins which is called the coupling protein. Now, what is the function of this coupling protein? As the name suggests, this coupling protein is actually coupling two bacterial cell membranes together, two bacterial cells together, to uh, before the exchange of the genetic material. And not only that, this FPA, MP, uh, MPF structure and coupling protein together uh, make a very tiny channel through which a very thin amount of DNA can pass. Uh, that means a very single strand of the DNA can pass, not uh, both of the strand can pass through this place. So before transferring the genetic material from one bacterial cell into another bacterial cell, it must be uncoiled. So the DNA must be uncoiled and only one DNA strand uh, can be transferred in this process. Now if we uh, recall the process of transformation, we can also see that uh, during transformation the bacterial cell are designed in such a way that they chewed up one strand and only one strand is allowed to enter into the cell but in this case we cannot chew the, that uh, another strand which is uh, not entering into another bacterial cell because if we chew, chew that uh, strand up, then the other bacteria will die. So for that purpose, it will take only one bacterial uh, DNA strand. But on, on the other hand, during the process, uh, other strand will be synthesized. Okay, the, the strand which is displaced will be synthesized during this process. Now, you, if you recall, you can remember that this is a type of re uh, DNA replication process is there, which is actually allow, which can allow us to to um, uh, to drag one strand from the DNA and to synthesize one strand simultaneously. Remember the type of DNA replication we are talking about? This is the rolling circle mechanism of DNA replication. Now in rolling circle mechanism, remember we are having this uh, double stranded DNA. Now we have a nick and this DNA is rotating around and as it is rotating around, for example this way, let me draw it. Oh my mouse is again uh, it is very bad for me okay now this is rotating around and as it is rotating around the newly strand the new strand is getting synthesized which is in blue color okay so it will be synthesized in uh, in uh, many level like that so let me change take it the color again okay so this okay so this will be 
the process of rolling circle mechanism of DNA replication. So as we are pulling one strand apart, another strand is getting synthesized. Oh, that strand is getting synthesized, right? So that is the way of how uh, uh, this process is established. So one uh, strand cut is done, then that strand is pulled out, and this pulling of the strand is established by the enzyme called relaxase. Now you can see here the enzyme called relaxase is there. Uh, it is very very small. The writings are very small. Uh, so I'm very sorry about that. But uh, otherwise, uh, this whole picture cannot be uh, put into one frame. Okay. Anyways, now uh, this relaxes, uh, which is denoted here by triangle, uh, blank triangle here. It will uh, attached with one of the end of this newly cut strand, which is the five prime end. And relaxes will block uh, attached with this part, and relaxes help to pull this strand apart. And also, there are proteins like this coupling factors and all this, which is helping to pull these things off. Relaxes first come and bind with this coupling protein, then it hold on to the five prime end of this uh, single strand cut DNA, then it pull it uh, pull this DNA uh, towards itself. And during this uh, pulling, we must uncoil this DNA strand. And as we know, if we are having two DNA strands, if we need to uncoil the two DNA strands from each other, we need energy and we need another type of specialized enzyme which is called helicase. Now the DNA helicase again in this case also helping to unwrap the one uh, unwrap a uh, one strand from another and uh, it is going on and we need the ATP or the supply of ATP uh, for functioning uh, this uh, unwrapping via helicase right now it is pulling this up right after the pulling event this relaxes help to rejoin uh, the single strand which come here and right after rejoining the single strand uh, uh, there is an enzyme called permease uh, as we know uh, sorry primase because primase will be needed to synthesize another round of strands now in this case in the left hand side which is the donor cell uh, as the one strand is pulled out uh, via the rolling circle make mode of replication it synthesizes uh, its strands so after the transfer of the whole uh, DNA segment. Uh, this donor strand uh, become completed. Donor strand uh, will have its own DNA uh, right after this this process. But the but the recipient strand, in other hand. Uh, left with only one single standard circular DNA, but that's not the uh, that's not what wanted. W it also needs uh, the double stranded DNA be before doing any uh, per any job uh, inside the cell, right? So it needs to synthesize uh, the opposite strand of the DNA, and it can do this by utilizing the enzymes called primase because it needs the free three prime hydroxyl end uh, to polymerize this DNA strand. Uh, that's very very important. So it, it needs this three prime hydroxyl and it has this three prime hydroxyl and this three prime hydroxyl will be provided by the primase. It synthesizes a short segment of DNA sequences, which is called a uh, short segment of RNA sequence actually, which is called the primer, uh, which is provide which can provide the three prime hydroxyl and utilizing this three prime hydroxyl, it can polymerize all the rest of the DNA strand synthesis and then finally what we uh, end up with, we end up with a trans conjugate, uh, which is having the double stranded plasmid. So we begin with a double stranded plasmid into one donor cell and nothing in the recipient cell, but right after this conjugation event uh, with the help of relaxes with the help of other enzymes like uh, polymerase and also primase uh, at the end we have produced uh, two different cells and the new cell which is the recipient cell is also received the same uh, number uh, and the same type of the same length of plasmid from the donor DNA uh, and which is called a transconjugant because uh, right after the conjugation, this bacterial cell gain this DNA. Okay. Now another important thing I forgot to mention when I've discussed this is about the origin of the transfer. Now from where the origin of the transfer will begin? As we know, in case of this rolling uh, circle mode of DNA replication, there is a particular site of DNA replication uh, beginning. And this is called the origin of replication site or, or, or a V site sometimes but in this case there is a site which is called the RET from where uh, the cut uh, is initiated and the whole conjugation process begins or the DNA segregation process begins okay now why it is called RET RET signifies the origin of transfer okay so origin of transfer mean the region from where the DNA cut and the DNA transfer initiated okay so that's why it is called the origin of transfer so this is the basic process of how the conjugation process is, is established so we know two cell will come closer and they will attach via the pili 
then original from uh, DNA is cut from the origin of transfer it is transferred into another uh, bacterial cell through the channel which is made by the MPF and the coupling protein and relaxes is guiding this DNA to enter into the new bacterial cell and right after that relaxes is uh, also helping uh, for resealing of this DNA segment and then the primers and other uh, DNA synthesis machineries come in and fill uh, the other stand and uh, in this way both of the DNA uh, will have the same type of uh, bacterial plasmid okay so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you